Hello. It is that magical time of year when it is almost nine o'clock at night and it's still light out. So I thought that I would make a baby bow and show you guys how to do it. So you're going to start with a slip knot about two and a half to three inches. And then we're gonna make our foundation chain. What you do is you pull your working yarn, which is connected to your ball of yarn through. And now you have two loops. So we're gonna do that until you have 11. So we have 11. So you're gonna pull a loop through that last, your 11th loop. You're gonna find the next hole. You're gonna pull another loop through there. So you have two. And then you're gonna pull a third loop through both of those. So you're gonna do that same thing all the way down this side. So we're gonna fold it over and we're gonna go through this hole twice. So the purpose of that is so that you basically are doing one on top and then coming down the other side. So it helps the end not get really narrow, but helps widen it out as it bows around rather than coming to a point. And once you go through that one twice, you go through each of these just once. Okay, so we've come to the end of our first row. So we worked all the way down and around and we're up here. So when I cross over, this is the loop that I'm gonna go through twice and then I'm gonna work my way down, go through this end twice, and then come back up. And that will be my second row. So we're gonna do that for three rows. I've done my three rows. Now for the last three rows going around, we're gonna go through both of these. And what that does is instead of building out, we're gonna start building up for the side walls. On this first, technically our fourth row, we're gonna go through this one on the edge twice, like we have been on these corners. So we'll go through this one twice and this one twice. And then after that, we'll just do everything once. For this last row, what I like to do is make these loops a little bit smaller, a little bit tighter. And what that will do is really pull the sides up and it'll help hold the shape of your baby boat. All right, so we're done with the sixth row and your baby boat should look something like this. What I'm going to do is trim this. I'm going to pull this yarn through and then tuck it in here to make a finished end. Cut off the end of this, tuck it into the side and sew it. And then also do the same thing on the bottom so that you don't see it. So I cut out about an inch of the fluff so it's easier to sew. Good luck.